Finding hope relationships. We're going to be talking about how God can move us from depression and anxiety into a rich, vibrant life by unpacking 10 truths. And today we'll be talking about relationships. Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Proverbs 27, 17. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. As we journey through this world, we quickly learn that true fulfillment is not found in possessions or achievements. Rather, it's in rich connections that we forge with others. So let's explore relationships and see how God's design can help us to have an appropriate, powerful, emotional, and spiritual well-being. So from the very beginning, God declared, it is not good that the man should be alone. This provided, this profound statement reveals a fundamental truth about our nature. We are created for connection, while our ultimate relationship with is with God himself. <coughs> he has designed us to also find emotional equilibrium and grow through our relationships with others. So the tapestry of relationships God invites us to include mentors and models. These are wise guides who have walked the path before us. They provide patterns for godly living and offer guidance based on their experiences. Paul instructed Timothy, in the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. They need to be mentors. Peers and partners, Those are, these are our equals, fellow travelers on life's journey with whom uh, we share our experiences, dreams, and frustrations. The book of Ecclesiastes reminds us two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Then there are those that we mentor, just as we benefited from mentors and models in our lives, we, we're called to pour into others this reciprocal process. And this blesses others, but also deepens our own understanding and faith. Family, our closest relationships include marriage and family, providing a unique arena for the deep relational development. Psalms says this, thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house, thy children like olive plants round about thy table. So it's crucial to understand that while these relationships are essential for our well-being, they're not the source of our ultimate happiness. That comes from God alone. Rather, these connections provide the context in which we can experience emotional balance and, and an outworking of our faith. Relational inventory. Here's the application. It's time to identify peers and those you mentor in your life and express gratitude for each of these relationships. Another application is to seek wisdom. If you lack a mentor, pray for God to bring a wise guide into your life. Look for opportunities to learn from those further along in their faith journey. And then deepen peer relationships. Intentionally create space for meaningful conversations with your peers. Share your dreams and strengths struggles and experiences openly and then mentor others look for opportunities to share your wisdom and experience with others this could be formal mentoring or simply being available to offer guidance and support nurture family uh, d dedicate time to strengthening your family relationships. Th this might involve creating new traditions, having regular family discussions, or simply spending quality time together. Let's pray. Mighty Father God, I thank you that you have given us these tremendous truths that we can apply to our lives. We can have uh, rich relationships that help us, God, to maintain a positive outlook in life and an easing of any anxious thinking. Thank you, God, that you set the lonely in families and that you help us, God, to grow in these relationships. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great day.